leadership. Write it down, please. Leadership. Let's hurry up so we can pray for Nigeria. Leadership. My God. What is leadership? This definition came many years ago. I was doing a little training for a group of people in Ghana. And I decided to come up with this definition on leadership. And it's remained my most valued definition of leadership till date. Watch this. Leadership, I define it here as the ability to coordinate human and material resources so as to achieve a common and predefined goal. Leadership is the ability to coordinate the ability to coordinate human and material resources. Very important. Everybody at a point in your life, you will have the opportunity to have access to human resources and material resources. And you must learn the ability to put human and material resources together so that you achieve predefined goals. We call it leadership. The ability again to coordinate human and material resources so as to achieve a common and a predefined goal. I submit to you with every sense of responsibility that this is grossly lacking in Nigeria and in Africa. There needs to be an emergence of leaders. Leadership is not a title. Leadership is not a vocation. It's a mentality. The ability to coordinate human resources, material resources, and use it to achieve goals. Any nation that does not know how to do that can have raw materials like we have in Nigeria. We have 200 billion people in Nigeria, the most populous nation in Africa. We are sitting in the midst of vast resources, but we lack the ability to coordinate human and material resources to achieve goals. A dear man of God or a dear man really, he, he served in one of the governments in this nation and he was telling me this story that they were in Israel and they had the opportunity to talk with the prime minister. And the prime minister told them that Israel being a desert land, that the food that Israel will eat for the next 15 years is already on ground. 15 years on ground. The Israelis built a technology that, that, that is able to produce vegetables in 21 days exactly hallelujah when we say you are a farmer in nigeria people run away and say don't insult me farmers abroad own private jets control economies because there is a mentality if i say nmpc aha uh -huh, now you are talking federal government job farmers say no i reject that spirit you see that now it's a mentality leadership ladies and gentlemen must be taught if i have the opportunity to contribute to the educational curriculum of nigeria there are three courses that must be introduced number one morality and conscience number two leadership number three finance it will not start in the university it will start from primary school <laughs> hallelujah don't, don't raise educated rebels. You must start inculcating moral values. And this is not just with a bias to the Christian faith. It is how nations become great. Leadership. Leadership. It is leadership when you see a piece of paper on the ground and you pick it. You are leaving that place better than you met it. That is a leader. It is leadership to be thoughtful about your family. Have you eaten? My wife have you eaten? My children have you eaten? It is leadership to know that your wife is nine months pregnant and start preparing from when you know. And don't say, I already rejected CS from beginning. Why are they saying CS now? Nine months. Are you seeing the lack of leadership? It is lack of leadership for your children to come. You already know a new time is starting and you don't put the school fees together. Yet you are donating five million in a church because you want a name. And yet your children cannot go back to school. If you come here and you, if I know you are not taking care of your children and you bring 10 million, I will hold it, pray on it, lay hands on your head and give you back the money and say, go and pay the school fees of your children. Hallelujah. 
leadership. I have profound respect for leaders because the Bible says strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. There is a serious leadership deficiency in this nation. There are many rulers. There are many spearheaders. There are many ambitious people heading organizations and that includes ministries. But there are few leaders. A leader is a shepherd and he will lay down his life for his sheep. No leader will manipulate the people that God has put. As a man of God, you manipulate your people, take advantage of them. You are not a leader. The ability to coordinate, the ability to harness and coordinate human and material resources. And leadership starts from you. Be the first follower of your own philosophies. If you're with me, say amen. amen. Koinonia is quiet tonight. I hope Nigeria is not quiet. Leadership. Watch this. I wrote here, structures must be put in place for leadership development across all age ranges, both formal and informal. As a man of God, I take responsibility to train our leaders every once and again. It's not enough that they're anointed. They must be leaders. We come from various backgrounds and we run our lives based on the templates that we saw those before us using. Leadership brings you to that common ground where you are able to pick very wonderful and positive traits and now use it. When you see a leader, a leader does not have to say, I am a leader. It's a mentality. A mentality of love, care, responsibility, productivity. That is leadership. Nigeria needs leaders, I, I propose to you. Nigeria needs to begin, can I tell you, with every res due respect for the generations that are from 60 years and above, I want to encourage the generation of elderly people, both political, economic, and spiritual in Nigeria. We must start reaching for the younger generations to train them. This is this gap in knowledge is what destroys nations. So you find a generation evolved that does not know Pharaoh. From a spiritual standpoint now, you can count how many of the fathers of faith in America are alive now. In the next 10 to 20 years, the truth is that they are going to go. I know we like to claim longevity and I believe it, but the truth is according to the course of life, they will go. In Nigeria here, thank God for the initiatives that many of our fathers are doing, like building universities and leadership institutes to help install the mindsets that made them great. Perhaps someone is here. God has called you to be a leader and to spearhead leadership. And now you are about to drop your passion for leadership because you want to be a man of God on the pulpit. Because they've told you if you're a man of God, you easily get money. You try to be a man of God for one year and you will run and leave that mic on the pulpit and go back to your leadership. Stay where God has called you and thrive. Stay where God has called you and thrive. Be a leader indeed. Some of you here, by reason of what you are hearing, you will be setting up leadership institutes to teach people, raise visionary leaders. You would think that Jesus was just looking for spiritual people. In selecting those who would be his disciples, then apostles, did you know that he was looking for leaders? He never called one scribe and one Pharisee to be part of his disciple. He saw Peter and the way he was responsible in his fishing business. He said, no, if you are good in your fishing, you'll be good over men. And he handpicked all these people, fasted and prayed all night and chose leaders indeed. And the vision did not die in their hands because they were leaders. I can be a man of God, but a bad leader. Just because you are kind and sincere, does not automatically transit you to a leader. People ask whether leaders are born or leaders are made. Leadership potential can be seen in people at birth, but every generational leader, serious leader, is made, not born. You train yourself to see life in a certain way and structure your life, structure your organization, leadership. Can I give you number five? 